getting ready here to do the shingling on the roof. So the first thing I did was I just put some flashing around the chimney. I have no idea if it's right, if that's how you would do it, but I figured I'd get some in there, do it now. I uh, cut some of that thin foil from Builders and Scale and used a little plyo bond uh, just to put that in there. I, I guess it looks okay. Again, the shingles will come up and they will then go over, obviously go over the stuff that's on the roof. But uh, there's also a real little band around the top there. You can see that. So anyway, so that's done. And then actually, before I do the shingles, I've got the instructions. We're going to go ahead now and get the the back uh, deck on. I'll go ahead and get that on. That shouldn't take long. There's all the pieces laying there. And then I'm going to have to, since the, there is a hill that comes up here, I'm either going to have to cut it or what I was thinking is maybe go over to the hill and say, well, what the people did was they kind of cut it out and, you know, build up with some railroad ties so they can have like a little downstairs patio under the deck. Then maybe you could put a gas grill and, you know, some other things outside. We'll, we'll see about that. Um, I certainly could see that, you know, the people doing that. They have a deck here and then, you know, with the hill coming up, just cut it down, cut it out, and then build it up with some old railroad ties. You know, that might look kind of cool. All right, so we'll see. So let's uh, keep moving on here and hopefully get this darn thing done soon. Okay, so I got the uh, the rear porch on there, and I got to say, it is not my finest work. I really, man, for something so simple, I really kind of messed this up pretty bad, actually. But again, you know, we, we show you everything, warts and all. And it, it turns out what I did, I didn't even really realize it when I'm... You put a piece in the back, and you put three outriggers off, and you put the two leg pieces in. Well, I got these leg pieces out of alignment, which I thought I had them in, but it might have happened when I set the weight on it, and they just moved a little bit, because you can see how bad that railing fits. I mean, it's really pretty bad, um, especially here at the end. I don't know if you can see, let me try to zoom in so you can see this. I don't know why anyone's watching this video, because this is terrible. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. You can see how bad this end is right here. I mean, there's a huge gap in there. Similar on this side. Um, just, you know, that's because I had things out a little bit. And then when you go to put the railings on, which was to fit up flush against these pieces, since I had them off, they're not right. So, again, really not... Uh, ooh, wow, that's not really all that good. But... Once you have it together, it's kind of fragile. I'm not going to rip it off and redo it because through the magic of uh, rear hoarding, I think what I'll do, I'll put a bush on here, you know, kind of coming up the side. And I don't know. We'll just say that this is the way they got it. This looks like something that I would build in real life. <laughs> That's about my skill level. My wife always teases me. <laughs> yeah, it looks like something I would build. So there you go. So they must have hired me to build it. So anyway, so... Not the greatest. Um, again, there might not be enough light in here, but there's another real bad gap right up in here because it's not sitting quite right. So, whew, okay, so I'm a little embarrassed to show that. But it's on. Um, and I also forgot, just yeah, since I raised the building up, you know, by the you know, that little footer I put on it, when I started putting this together, you know, the stairs weren't coming all the way down. So initially I wanted it to land on this, but I had to had to build it up so that it actually lands and I'm not pushing it and getting it out a little bit out of the kilter, which maybe that was part of the problem too. All right, so there's that. So eh, C minus on that, but again we'll make it we'll make it look okay on the layout. So uh, I think the next thing now is to get ready to do some shingles. Shingling's done. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's the uh, the back side done. Oh, this is really tedious and, I'll tell you, really annoying. Um, over an hour's worth of work there. Um, and I'm going to leave it like that, put it on the layout. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, no. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a break, come back, put a new blade in the exacto knife, and then come down here and trim it along the side, turn around, and do the other side. All the next set of paper shingles cut there, ready to go. Uh, I guess it's going to look all right. I did uh, try to work it in around the chimney. 
to look okay. I might paint some black in there. I'll have to put some sealant or you know, some tar around there, around the uh, the chimney, as well as the flashing. So, uh, okay, break time. Catch up on some uh, American football scores, and then we'll uh, get back to work and get this done. Yeah, it's a little bit better. All right, got the backside trimmed. Still got to put the trim piece on the end when I got the other side done. So, uh, another hour of agony. Let's get it over with. Let's just get in there and get her done. This is not fun. Ugh. Okay, enough whining. Let's uh, let's get this other side of the roof done. Okay, dokie. I think I'm about to wrap this thing. Got the roof on. I say got the shingles on. I'll weather them tomorrow. I don't feel like doing it tonight. But they're on. Got a cap on and everything, so that looks looks acceptable. I was able to come up with some railings. I don't think they're perfect. They're a little bit too industrial. They're actually, I think, titchy railings. And I cut them. Drilled holes for them in there and then got them to... Kind of paint it black, and then the other railing, which is unfortunately a little bit larger size, which is pretty obvious there. But uh, that's because it's a it's a step, and you have to have OSHA says you need to have thicker railing so you don't fall. Anyway, that's uh, I don't know where that came from. It was in my scrap box, so I think that's okay. Uh, again, I don't think it's ideal, but it gives the impression of a railing. And then we got. Uh, some more details I might want to put on the side. That's where it's very dark. <laughs> okay, so on this side, again, not too bad. Gotta be careful, I almost broke the damn porch off when I was moving it around. Probably want to add some type. Where would I put it? I don't know if I'm gonna put it here or there. Just an electrical, you know, the meter box where your electric power comes in. Maybe a gas meter if they have uh, gas. They have gas. They had chili for lunch, so <laughs> we'll see. Just a couple more details because I'm getting kind of tired of working on this. I want to get it done, or I want to call it done. Let me say that. You know what I mean? You kind of get burned out if they're doing something for so many days in a row. But uh, so that's that, and I think I'm gonna, like I said, a couple more final details tomorrow, and then try to get it on the layout, get it positioned where I want it, or where it belongs, I should say. And then, you know, anything final, I, I can always come. Oh, I do need to add, I will do it tomorrow, um, probably a vent for the kitchen and a vent for the bathrooms. Those will definitely be needed. So I'll try to get those on and then get it over and situated. So uh, there we go. Not looking too, too bad. About three days worth of effort. Let's get on the layout and see how it looks. All right, just to prove to you, uh, everyone watching this, my uh, absolute uh, insanity, I did go ahead and add a gutter. Uh, it's a Pike Stuff gutter that I cut a couple pieces, actually three pieces, very carefully super glued them in. Uh, actually got it up there okay, and I was surprised. I'm not saying if you were going to look really, really close, it would look perfect. However, for what I wanted to do, I think it captures the feel of the gutter. And then I added, for downspouts, the Pike stuff uh, downspouts are, are really no good. I used this here. This is just some 040, 040 rod, which actually, you can bend it carefully. And... If it shows up here, let's see if I can zoom in and it actually will form into a reasonable looking downspout. And then very carefully that was super glued onto the the gutter and then the, down to the building. So that's that. I also did the front, which I'll probably show because the light might not be all that great here and I had to do some more forming for those but I'll show those when we get the building turned around I gotta be real careful now because when you work I'm starting to you know hit this um, 
when I'm working because I forget it's there. And now I got gutters and downspouts. So I got to be careful how I grab the building. All right, got two vents added, one for the kitchen, one for the bathrooms. Just slopping some tar on those. Put some tar in the chimney. All right, so let's turn this around. And I'm about ready to call this done because, well, I got to paint the roof. But I can't take much more of this. So I need to get it on the layout. All right, let's turn it around and see what the front looks like. One final note on the back side. You notice there's no shutters. Um, because I walked out of my house and looked around the neighborhood. And actually, a lot of the houses on the back don't have shutters. So, you know, think about it. Does your house right now, don't look. Don't don't go out and look. Does it have shutters in the back? <laughs> Mine didn't. So I, didn't, I left them off. So I, I could do some on the front then. And then one final thing I added. Uh, I can walk around my house. There's a couple of little vents that uh, just come out from the house. So I added one there, and then I added one over there, just for, you know, something, looks like some other details coming out of the house. Alrighty, um, I'm going to call this done. Got the roof painted, a nice kind of a eh, bluish-gray color. I think it matches okay. And I did start to cut out what will be the concrete pad. It'll be under the patio. I've got to kind of work on that later. And let's see the other final detail I added. I don't know if you can see it too well, but uh, this guy must be a ham or something like that because he's got uh, some kind of an antenna. I don't know what it is. Uh, looks kind of evil, but uh, hey, I don't know. I don't live there. I'm just uh, telling you what's there. So okay, so there's the back. Again, I'm gonna call this pretty much done. And it's starting to get really, really unwieldy to deal with it with the uh, with the gutters and downspouts and. And that kind of fun stuff. But hopefully you can get a nice look at that on the back side. Because the next view will be on the layout. And I'll come by and take one of the front as well. And get some pictures here on the bench. And then we'll get it over on the layout. I think it looks alright. like some of the details on it. Like I said, that back porch is not the greatest. But... Uh, Then I will do the cut out some rare or cut out the um, the hill where it's it's going to sit in the hill. Put some railroad ties up like they cut it out for their little bottom patio. Then again, need to find some kind of gas grill or something to put on the outside patio. All right. Let me gingerly turn us around so we can look at the front. All right. I am saying it is ready for the layout. You can see the uh, young child there is a uh, arms up in victory. Victory is mine. Finally got the darn thing done. Um, just a little, little light bit of weather and not real heavy because you know, most folks keep keep their homes pretty clean. Did a little bit, real little bit. Mostly up on the roof. A little bit in the siding. Now, the, okay, so the, for the front steps, they're not um, attached yet. I'll do that when I get it on the layout. That's just kind of an idea of what it's going to look like. I might do. See, I cut those back so people don't hit their heads as they're walking up the steps. I actually did see that. I know someone commented on it, but then they were right. But I had already had that well in hand. <laughs> All right, so and that, like I said, got the antenna. And on the far end here, went ahead and a couple of little smudges on that side from weather or whatever. Some outlets. And then the downspout. And the, I think it looks all right. Okay. Like I said, the oops. Zoom over this way. Not much has really changed over here on the garage. That's pretty much the same. Yeah, actually I didn't do a whole lot more to that, but just to... All right. Calling it complete. Now we'll get it... Uh, we'll have to do some scenery work to get it ready to with a spot for it. 
I hope to be able to get to. I'm not sure. So I, I might just post this now as part three. Um, if it stops here, then that's that's what I decided to do. Because it's getting late and i got to go back to this job tomorrow. So I don't want to get uh, where I can't, where I say it's going to be installed and I can't get to it. So I might stop here, post this, say it's done, and then one of the updates actually show the, the house going in. Because I know I'll be able to get this up and posted. So that's it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make that call. So, uh, kind of curious if this uh, is interesting to people. If you find it worthwhile. If not, I certainly don't have to do it. Um, that was kind of nice to document what I did, which I do kind of on my own anyway. But uh, I don't know if it helps people or if it's boring to people or whatever. Just let me know. I'm just kind of curious because it does take a lot of time and effort to keep up with the you know when you're doing something like this. And like I said, it's not a true build series it is more a you know here's what we did to modify the kit um these kits really are, are not that hard to assemble if you can you've got some basic tools can read instructions you'll be i'm you'll be able to put them together it's more some of the modifications that were done such as adding bay windows moving garage doors changing garage doors changing front doors adding the chimney the front step you know the things that were different that uh, don't come with the kit so uh you tell me as a matter of fact let me just uh, do a quick pause here for a quick comparison so that shows you the original kit as packaged and to be assembled by branch line and then the way we modified it and we're gonna have for our layout so can you tell us the same kit yeah probably but uh, you know would you know right away looking at that that uh, it is that kit mm, maybe not you might look at it and go well, but wait a minute things are different so anyway, that's what I like to do I like to make things a little bit different so I don't know was it worthwhile you know you guys tell me in the comments what you think and if you think we should do more of these uh, build series because I'm not going to have a whole lot of structures. The next ones that will probably do will be more heavily modified kits and uh, scratch built stuff. So we'll see. If interested, certainly can uh, try to keep up with those as well. So, all right, enough babbling. Let's get this posted so everyone can see the house completed. Like I said, the, uh, I'm probably going to wait and the next layout update itself that I do will show the house installed and how it looks, uh, you know, in its location on the layout. So thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Everyone be safe out there.